passed a bill that he believes will keep the folks of the Central Valley from irreparable harm. He is with me now live to explain what he's filed to try and stop what's now known as the Delta Conveyance Project. Good morning and thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What exactly did you introduce today and how does this involve the Secretary of the Army? Uh, this is a bill that bans the Delta Tunnel once and for all. Uh, this is a zombie project. Every time we kill it, Sacramento politicians find another way to bring it back. Uh, it was a terrible idea 60 years ago. It's an even worse idea today when we're in the midst of a drought and just taking Northern California water and, and shipping it down to Southern California so folks in Beverly Hills can have a better looking lawn doesn't make any sense. Uh, and this bill is dead simple. It's gonna assure that the Secretary of the Army in charge of the Army Corps of Engineers does not issue any federal permitting for this project. And if we're successful, this project will finally be stopped for good. At the end of July, California's Department of Water Resources released 3,000 pages of its draft environmental impact report on this controversial project. You and Congressman Garamendi and McNerney and Thompson issued a statement encouraging Governor Newsom to just outright stop construction. Did you ever hear back from him on that? You know, uh, they plan, they, 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 no, uh, this is the short answer. Uh, they think that this project is gonna continue to move ahead. And this is such a short-sighted use of money. This is $16 billion in taxpayer funds that's going to a project that's going to cost tens of thousands of jobs in our area. Uh, this is a decision between livelihoods for our farmers and luxuries for folks in Southern California. And every time that comes down to that choice, we have to make sure that we're standing with our farmers and our industry here. Reps from the Delta Counties Coalition have called this now one tunnel plan, quote, deficient and deeply flawed, and that it would do very little to improve statewide water supplies and bring lasting harm instead to the Delta. The goal of this project is to send as much as 6,000 cubic feet of water per second from the Sacramento River to Los Angeles, as you've been referencing. Uh, you talked about jobs. What is the biggest problem you see from this now scaled back plan? The biggest problem is it doesn't create a single new gallon of water for anyone in California. Uh, we have real raw water problems in our state. I'll be the first to admit that. But let's come together on common sense solutions like building more water storage, like ensuring that we have our groundwater recharge uh, in, in place, desalination, recycling. There are real solutions to this. This project doesn't do any of that. All it does is take water from our farmers and ships it down south. And it is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing to make sure that we can get our way out of this drought. Why should there be federal action on what is, has been a state controversy? Because the bottom line is the state hasn't gotten this right. Uh, there's more legislators in Sacramento who are elected from Los Angeles than are elected from the Central Valley. Uh, and my job is to remind people that California is more than San Francisco and Los Angeles. And if we're going to make sure that we take action on this, then uh, I think the federal government is going to need a role to send a strong message to Sacramento that this project can't go ahead. And then what's the next step now that this has been introduced? The Stop the Delta Tunnels Act has been introduced and it goes where now? The next step is to get this out of committee to the floor and hopefully to the president's desk. Uh, this is a project that should have a lot of support, bipartisan support from Republicans and Democrats that want to make sure that we're safeguarding our water here. Uh, I know it's not going to make me the most popular person in Beverly Hills, but we have got to find a way to come on common ground uh, to actually invest in the types of solutions that we need and not just spend our time pointing fingers on water projects that are going to be a boondoggle for the whole state. All righty, Congressman Harder, thank you so much for taking some time this morning after introducing this bill. We appreciate you. Thank you.